We had to park back a little bit in the wide spot on the road because all of this up here is all the people trying to get our trailer down across the ditch. That's as far as it goes, Brian says. They're trying to make the driveway wide enough so they can get the tires across. They've got railroad ties. Yeah, they're moving ties. Oh, I hear a creaky. See if I can get close. I don't know if you can see underneath. There's like basically no room. Okay, two out of three of the back tires are on the driveway on both sides. There's the trucks. They've almost got it off the road. It's off the road. My mom lives right in a bend on 26. They're down there directing traffic. shingled roof, um, total of 950 square feet, so we're going to be going from about over 3,000 square feet to 950, which is new. That's going to be glorious. I am so sick of my... No one will be able to see it from the road, mm -hmm. but I think that if someone does see it, this will be one of the trailers they think of why and how. Every contractor we've had over here has thought why and how. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long story. We have a YouTube channel now on this process. If anybody watching wants to go look it up, it's called Weber Family. And um, we document. Our goal was when we bought this at the beginning of April was to. Uh, downsize and um, get rid of a lot of our belongings, live in a smaller place, use fewer resources. Um, our big house isn't where we wanted to put our money and our investment. So we decided we were going to look for a, a used trailer that we could then um, remodel 
Because um, there's concrete in every one, right? Yeah, it goes down like I forget how many feet it goes down, but it goes well below the frost line, so that there's no shifting once the mobile home is placed. Oh wow, we're right up against a tree. It looks like. Are they up against the woods? No, they're up against a tree on the edge, so they're shifting the angle of it right now. Right there a little bit. See? Yeah. Yeah, at the bottom, the frame is dragging yep. in the gravel. I'm sure that this wasn't our initial plan um, when we decided to downsize. Uh, we didn't tell our family for a while after we bought the trailer and we were just looking for where to place it. We had not anticipated developing a site for it. We were just going to place it somewhere where there already was one. But once we told our fa our extended family, my um, my dad's not well and my mother is his uh, primary caretaker. 
This is her property, so we developed a site here. And it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, they're trying to take it now straight back into the woods there that's level. And they're trying to go in as far as they can so then they can back it up the other way. But um, getting it around this last bin. And the backyard will just be kind of a pathway. Backyard's a path. There'll be a little bit of yard here at the end. Which will be the fair yard. And then over here, there'll be some parking, a turnaround spot. Maybe a little bit of, I don't know, like a fire pit yeah, that's or what something. Yeah, that'd be fun to have a fire pit down here. Do some cookouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They inched it back just a teeny bit. I don't know at this point whether it's... Just gonna be back and forth and shift. Now it came down just a tad on the back side. The back end is probably still a good 10 feet up the driveway. Now that it's moving further down, that's good to see. You can see the lights. And how close it is on this side. That white pipe, there's the septic tank and especially the first tree, its roots are around it. And the second two, they're just so tall that one of these days it's, they're going to come down. So we hope to get that taken care of when we get mom's septic tank taken <laughs> He's watching the back end because right where he's sitting is where the hill drops off. Okay. Went a little bit further, maybe another foot. <laughs> picture of the machinery they're using to kind of support it and pivot it on down. is all being done by hand, which is not typically how this is done. They only do this for Oh, look, look at it shift. It's going to go out of the middle. Ah. Oh. oh, that's scary. Yeah. I'm sure they've got one of those machines under there that they're putting in the water. Yeah, that's what they're doing. But. Holy cow. Watch your tree right there, Tom. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Like a puzzle. It's like, it's like this close. <laughs> It's a puzzle that we're going to live in. Mm -hmm. 
There, it's totally out in the air and over them. Even the wheels. Yeah, the oh. wheels aren't touching the ground at all. There it goes. Yeah. Incredible. Okay, they've got it straight now. It's down. Just gotta bring it back. Now they've gotta line it up on the piers. We have someone else that'll be coming in a hopefully just a few days that will actually level it and hook it up to the utilities. Um, these folks just were the ones to move it onto site. And once you get it all hooked up and ready to go, then we can start working on it, right? And then we start the real work. Yep. The past Our four, work. Yeah, the past four months was us trying for everybody else to help us. Now it's on our shoulders. I believe it'll have to I don't want to It should be Ripley's booth or not. I got you, Jeff. I don't want to They've got wood blocks under the wheels. So they're getting ready to back it in. So this is the back, that's the front? Yep, that's the back. We'll be replacing that door because that's the one that doesn't stay shut unless you slam it and lock it. What color are you painting this again? The outside? Yeah. I don't know that Dad's going to let me paint the outside because he says it's a uh, what do you call it? Uh, no maintenance surface that I'm making it have have maintenance. <laughs> I uh, want to paint it born red. Uh, I mean, I would love to recite it, but it doesn't need recited, so that would just yeah, be really, silly. Yeah, really, it really just needs power wash. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to power wash a mobile home because the water can get in behind the siding oh, just and cause water damage. You're supposed to um. Yeah, you're supposed to like use long pole scrubbers. And, okay. Um, and we need to get up on the roof and, and take care of the yeah. moss that grew up on the roof. Yeah. So, but the major stuff we need to do is put on siding, fix bathroom, replace floors, make a new kitchen. Yeah. Nothing at all. Not much. We got walls to patch. We have to sand and paint all those walls. Sand. Well, they're um, mobile home walls. They're like those pre-wallpapered walls, and um, you have to sand them down, just a soft sanding, so that paint will adhere to them. Oh. Take down all those little um, <laughs> creaking just gets me every time. You didn't see that. You, they, you just saw me reacting. <laughs> what happened? It went like this, and then back down. It went like what? It went like this, but back down. <laughs> oh my. I might need some medication after this is all over. Get some Diet Pepsi. <laughs> some chocolate. Yeah. And a Valium. <laughs> okay, we're starting to back in little by little. I think they're using those wood blocks to make sure that the tires don't sink down in the car. Because it is pretty muddy down there. Yeah. I was wondering what that was at first. Okay.
probably play side to side until they get it right on the right over the, right over the piers. really not probably too far off of what it's going to be. Yeah. So back there, that's a little bit more space than you were saying. Mm -hmm. well, oh, yes! He asked how we liked that. <laughs> No, that didn't look easy. No, that did not look easy. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the challenge, is all I can say. <laughs> That's pretty good. I didn't touch the thing. Though. No, you didn't. That was awesome. You can just visualize your front porch there. Right there. That's where the front porch is going to be. Yeah. It's a front door, but I'm going to get a nine light door for here. More light, the better. Yeah, yeah. Look out here. That's the forest. Glorious. I'm going to hand this back to my mom right now. And that's the okay. kitchen sink right okay. there. Mm -hmm. What? I was giving it back to you. Yeah, that's the kitchen sink. So I'll look out that window and see oh, this at, view. Yeah. Look oh, at this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'll be yeah. like you're in a bird's nest. <laughs> mm hmm. My bedroom, even though, it'll, even though it has a window, uh, where the cars will be parked. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go off now. My um, phone is almost dead, and uh, hopefully, you all can enjoy our craziness. Talk with you later. Thank you.